So today I want to talk about juicy desired outcomes. And what I mean when I say juicy desired outcome versus what do you want or what's your goal or what your to do's are, we're talking about the bigger picture why you want to do the thing you're doing, whether that is getting organized or starting a business or redecorating the house or changing jobs or moving. Why do you want to do that? Right? What is, what's the direction you're heading towards? What are you trying to change by this activity or this um, desire to do something? So desired outcomes are great because when you know why you're doing something, what you're hoping will happen when you do it, it allows you to be motivated more easily to reach that, that outcome. Um, you take actions towards that outcome rather than getting off track and going somewhere else. Um, so it's about finding that inspiration for what you want to do and why you want to do it and the desired outcome is the why. Um, I like thinking of it as my map. This is where I'm going. This is the plan. I want to get there. I don't know every single aspect yet, but if I start, I'm going to get closer to my destination. And that's why setting up a desired outcome at the beginning of any project is fantastic. Um, and the reason I call it a juicy desired outcome is because you want it to be exciting enough to actually be motivating. Sometimes we have these outcomes based on someone else's ideas or something we think we should do, and it might not be exciting enough for us to actually take action on. Some of us are very, myself included in this, we're very um, inspired to take action by our feelings. How do we want to feel in this moment? Does this make me feel good? Do I feel like doing it? Those kinds of things get in the way if you don't have a juicy desired outcome. Uh, there's so many things I'd rather be doing than working in, in almost every circumstance. And so even though I love what I do and I love helping people in the way I've found to help them um, and I like being a know-it-all and doing all that aspect of it, doing the administrative details involved in running a business sometimes are really hard and that does affect my outcomes. But when I keep in mind my juicy desired long-term outcome for why I run a business in the first place, why I stay organized, it's so much easier to actually do the things that I don't like to do. <laughs> um, it also reminds me that I have the option to delegate them if I don't want to be doing them time and time again. But some of them, it makes a little more exciting when I know what the juicy desired outcome on the other end is. Um, okay, so one of the things you can do to have it help create that motivation is to learn to describe your juicy desired outcome in a very colorful way. Can you feel it? Can you taste it? Can you feel it? Add the, the, as much color as possible to the description of what that outcome is and it can be your guidepost. Um, if you're just kind of vague about it, like, well, I'd like to have more time off. Well, what is the thing you're gonna do when you take that time off? That's what makes it juicy. What's the thing you'd rather be doing? Um, keep that all in mind. Um, the thing is we wanna create like a craving almost. What do you want? What is the thing that's pulling you forward, not pushing you away or um, hindering you. It's got to be something that feels a, almost a calling to do when you define what the juicy desired outcome is. It helps so much. Um, it helps you make the decisions along the way too. Um, from every aspect, from what things do you need in your life to is this something that is relevant to this process? Do I even need to look at that information right now? Is that something I can put off till later or something I don't need at all? So it helps you filter what's coming in at you as well. It helps you say no to things that are not relevant in this moment. Um, and it helps you uh, work with your unconscious brain, the part that likes to process patterns and um work on things from a perspective of what you it already recognizes. And so it helps with the abstract thinking, the problem solving bits, the how do these things fit together portion that keeps your brain entertained and um, helping you achieve your goals rather than 
against them because they feel new and unconnected and untethered. And, and I'm just going to keep doing the thing over here instead of this new thing. Um, it helps bring alignment to the way your brain processes information. So it's easier. Um, and it's, it's really to lead the development of the objectives. Now the objectives are the pieces of to do items that need to happen. They're the things that are more bound by time and space. You can check it off a list. It's the steps in the process of getting to your juicy desired outcome. So if the juicy desired outcome is out in the future and it is the thing that is pulling you forward, like you're going to, I don't know, let's say you're going to Berlin today and you need to get on a, you need to get in an Uber and then you need to get on a plane and then you need to get, um, make your transfer connection and then you need to go through customs and then you need to um, get in another Uber and then you need to go to your hotel. All of those things are the objectives to getting to your destination, right? So think about that. What uh, knowing where you want to end up helps define those objectives. It keeps you from doing things that don't get you there. You wouldn't all of a sudden be looking at brochures for Tahiti if you're trying to go to Berlin, right? So that's, uh, how you get more of what you want and less of what you don't want is by knowing what that object or um, knowing what objectives are going to get you to the outcome. Um, and then the best part is for whatever reason, when you achieve an objective, when you check something off a list, it's mildly satisfying. It's kind of in the moment satisfying. It's a small hit of dopamine. You did something. Yay. Um, all right. That's good. That's done. But when you reach the desired outcome, the big thing that you were working towards, that feeling extends. It can change your mental model. You feel confident, accomplished, capable. Um, that's what um, what's so great about figuring out the difference between objectives and, and outcomes. Juicy desired outcome is going to change you on some level. It's transformative. Whereas an objective, it's, it's just, it's a... I did it. Great. But when you do something wonderful and juicy, it becomes fantastic. I achieved it. Um, and so it's less likely that you will be unsatisfied with the result because you did a bunch of work to get yourself there and you had a vision of where there was when you started. Okay. I hope this helped clarify a little bit about the difference between an outcome and an objective and why I'm always talking about your juicy desired outcome. It's the thing that pulls you forward, the thing that motivates and the thing that helps you define what the objectives to your process are going to be. All right. Thanks for dropping by. Um, as always, leave some comments or questions you'd like answered in the comments, and I'm happy to do that. Um, and let me know what you think. Um, I got some feedback that people would like to see the rest of my house um, and how I actually live in my space and, and if it's organized all the time. As you can see, there's some stuff. Ah, it's hard to point when you're looking at things backwards. There's some stuff over here that's interesting. There's some stuff in the kitchen over there that's interesting. Not 100% tidy, though. It's in process. It's Monday. It's short day. So I left it as is. Um, anyway, let me know if you like it. Um, and I'm going to, you know, come to you live from a couple different locations in my house so you can see a little bit more of how it all fits together. All right. Talk to you soon. In the meantime, have a delightful day.